I got a chance to play Creatures of Ava early, and I am pretty much enjoying the game. I was kind of misguided a little bit. I thought this game was a game where you do muster catching and things like that, but apparently it's not. It's a creature saver game, and you're supposed to be on this mission to save creatures on this planet of Ava. I was not expecting that, so I kind of was a little thrown off by it, but that does not mean that I did not enjoy this game. When you first get into the game, you end up crashing on a planet, and you're taking control of a character named Vic. I'm not going to talk about the very, very beginning intro scene, which I highly recommend that you play through that, because it is definitely kind of sort of a tearjerker. Once you crash land on this planet, you then begin to try to figure out how to heal yourself, figure out where you are, and things like that. You eventually end up in this cave or, or puzzle area, whatever you want to call it, and you end up getting a special power. This power allows you to heal the withering within the game. It allows you to clear up some of the things that are going on and killing the planet. And of course, it's not going to be easy. Not only do you have the withering coming after you, you also have animals that have been infected by the withering also coming after you. And sometimes these animals, they, they hit pretty hard. They can and, uh, of course, will kill you. The animals really do act as if they are wild animals. They come after you sometimes when you're just walking by and you're like, okay, I didn't do anything to you guys. I'm just walking by admiring the beauty of you guys and, of course, you're getting attacked. However, you do end up getting an ability to be able to tame the animals, which I thought was a very unique concept. It kind of reminded me a little bit of Pokemon as far as you throwing a Pokeball and catching a Pokemon, but instead you're playing a flute, which allows you to tame the animals and be able to play at the animals. Playing at the animals was at first a little difficult because I didn't understand what I was doing and plus I didn't read. But playing at the animals actually was a nice touch to add to the game because often we're always looking at it through the human's eyes and never through the animal's eyes. One of the cool things about playing at the animals, you each animal has different abilities or different things that they can do. For instance, the I, I call them the horses or unicorns, whatever you want to call them. They are able to break through jelly walls. I think that's what they call them. They were able to break through those. And then you also have the animals that dig on the ground. They're able to cause earthquakes to break the rocks. So I'm very, very curious about what other abilities you can get and what happens when you save some of the bigger animals and things like that. I only played Creatures of Ava for just a little over two hours, and one of the reasons is because the game actually crashed on me during the first recording, and I was not happy about that. I thought I actually lost about two, uh, about an hour and a half of virtual recording, but thankfully, I didn't. I played it for another hour, so about two and a half hours total is what I played uh, Creatures of Ava before I started working on this video. In that playtime, I found the game to be a little slow starting off because, like I said, I was expecting a monster catching game. I thought I was going to be able to catch the monsters, you know, have them on my team, things like that. That is not the case in this game. You're pretty much playing as Vic by yourself pretty much with no help at least in the part that i got through maybe later in the game you do end up having help to come along with you and help you fight the monsters and things like that i'm not 100 percent sure but i did get a chance to go through the second puzzle so to speak where i unlocked the new power and it allows me to heal the withering a little bit quicker and i also got a chance to take out a little more advanced witherings so that was really, really cool. I like the concept of the fact that you can go through the different puzzle caves. I'm going to call them puzzle caves. You can get a chance to go through different puzzle caves, and you can get a chance to learn new abilities. One of the cool parts of the game that I did like was the fact that I was able to meet other inhabitants of the planet called Nam. I'm assuming I'm saying that right, Nam. And they were able to help me learn how to interact with the animals. They were able to 
help me find different things to do on the island as well because they do give you side quests one of the things i actually really enjoyed is their hesitancy to help humans apparently humans have been on the planet before and they're like yeah we don't trust you which is which is fine to me i i mean i wouldn't trust somebody just popping up on my land and being like hey i'm here to save you guys we've seen that before anyway one of the things I'm very curious about with this game, Creatures of Ava, is when you send animals into the bio ship, because you are, as they say, creature saving the animals, you're basically helping save the planet, but you're also helping them evacuate the planet as well. Uh, when you send them up to the bio ship or the bio prison is what I'm going to call it, I, I felt a little off about that. I'm pretty sure as I advance through the story and play the game more, I'll get more answers to the questions that I have, such as, are we really saving the animals or is this some kind of deep ploy to just capture the animals and put them in, in zoos and take their inhabitants and put them to work and things like that? Or, or is this planet really going to die if they stay here and then, of course, kill off all of the species on the planet? Some questions I really, I really would love to have answered, but I only, like I said, I only played two and a half hours of the game, maybe three, I'm not 100% sure, but I played enough of the game to get a feel of the game, and I can definitely say the puzzles can be a little tricky, because, uh, one, I didn't read, <laughs> I didn't read all the directions, so maybe if I had read all the directions, it would have been a little easier, but it wasn't too hard to figure out once you start doing the puzzles, which I did like. But it's also enough of a brain teaser where you're like, okay, this is not super easy. So I, I did enjoy Creatures of Ava. I uh, definitely plan on finishing the game. So I, I will definitely play this offline, upload clips and things that I've uh, accomplished or things I find interesting. One of the things I really, really enjoy about this game is that it is completely open world you're able to go do pretty much whatever you want and they do have uh these these little bots that save I, i'm gonna call them capture bots i'm pretty sure that's not what they're called but i'm gonna call them capture bots they have these bots that you can uh go up to and you can save a bunch of animals by basically playing your flute luring them to the bot and then sending them into space it's like star wars or something really weird like i said i always felt a little weird after doing it because i was like man these animals are like not here anymore it's one of the things i didn't like is the animals don't respond i mean it made sense but it also sucks because it's like okay you send the animals up and then the animals are no longer on this planet they don't reproduce like there's no extra animals it, it felt a little weird and sometimes it made the game feel a little empty which which it was kind of depressing, not going to lie. Um, see the empty landscape after you save the animals. It, it, it really was a little depressing. But other than that, Creatures of Ava is really an interesting game. I'm interested to learn how this story is going to play out. Do the Nam actually have a reason to distrust us? Does Chief Hanlo have a reason to not believe that the Rittering is actually true? Is the Rittering actually caused by us humans coming onto the planet? Like, I have a lot of questions that I would love to get answered. So, I'm going to continue playing Creatures of Ava at my own pace and learn a little bit more about the game. But, if you're wondering, should you get this game? Is it the game you're going to enjoy? If you enjoy cozy games, you like a little bit of a challenge mentally when it comes to the puzzles, you like being able to save creatures and not being able to capture them, have them work with you or for you, this is definitely a game for you. It is a little bit slow starting off, like I said, at least to me, it felt a little slow, but it does pick up a little bit and just being able to save the animals from the withering, that was a nice touch in my opinion. I really did enjoy it. But other than that, um, if you're not a fan of slow-paced games, games where you have to save animals or even a bunch of puzzles and things like that, I would say avoid it at least, or at least get it on a sell. I do think the game can fit any uh, any type of gamer, but it's up to you. Uh, after seeing this video, hopefully I helped you make your decision a little bit easier. But that's my opinion on the game. I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed getting a chance to take out the Wittering, save a couple of animals, and, of course, um, 
as always, jump off a map. It's so much fun. So, so much fun. Anyway, I really did enjoy the game. Had a blast playing it. Um, I, if I had to give it like a rating out of, let's just say, 5, um, probably be about 3.5 out of 5 right now. Cause like I said, it's, it still feels, it feels weird, quote unquote, saving the animals and then seeing the landscape be empty. So it's kind of, it's kind of depressing a little bit. Maybe that's just me getting older and uh, my taste changing, but that does feel a little depressing to quote unquote save animals and then you just don't see them anymore. So hopefully I get more answers as I play this game. Shout out to Creatures of Ava for allowing me to play this game early and thank you for giving me a key to the game as well. I really do appreciate you guys. Creatures of Ava is really, it's really an interesting game. I hope to enjoy it and improve my final review score later when i beat the game at my own pace and yeah thank you guys so much for watching the video hope you guys go like and subscribe and of course let me know if you have any questions in the comments and i'll try to answer them as much as i can and yeah check this game out on steam and at spots you guys go check it out and thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you guys go save a bunch of creatures just like i did have a great one peace